So this is how we can unlock entirely new sensory experiences. Your brain is seeing something it never evolved to see. And that brings us back to a deep question in neuroscience. What happens when you feed the brain new information it's never had before? And we see that the brain just makes up a new color, Olo, which is not born of the sun or of nature, but of precise cellular targeting in the lab. And so the possibility is there that maybe we're just at the beginning of what human perception is capable of. What amazes me is that we can't imagine new colors, but once we've seen them, then it's part of what we can imagine. And this tells us that there's always more beyond the fence lines of our internal models, which is what my next book is on, which will hopefully come out next year. Okay, now I wanna get back to how science is going to expand our perception. I think it's inevitable that genetic tools are gonna to make it possible someday to modify our eyes to detect new parts of the spectrum. So for example, we'll someday genetically give humans new flavors of photoreceptor cells. Could you add a fourth type of cone to the retina? I told you last week about tetrachromacy in which a tiny fraction of women see hundreds of millions of colors rather than let's say a million, which is what most of us can see. And this is because they have a genetic mutation that gives them a fourth cone type. So you could genetically engineer tetrachromacy like this. But you could also engineer a fourth cone type to see beyond the current limits of visible light. Imagine your great grandkids being able to see magnetic fields like soft glows of color or to see other things that are totally invisible to you like infrared or ultraviolet like snakes or bees do. This would just be an extension of the way that our brains use colors as a way of tagging information in the world. But now we'll be extending our perception beyond its biological history.